Welcome back to another Big Fight Recap here on BLTV Classic. You ready hit that? It's the hardest I've ever been hit. It is the hardest here. The hardest on my whole career, man. On today's video, we rewind the clock back to Mike Tyson's eighth professional bout against Michael Jack Johnson. A short, devastating encounter that resulted in multiple fractured bones for Iron Mike's overmatched opponent. Let's take a look. Just six months into his pro career, the word of a heavy-handed teenage dynamo was spreading throughout boxing circles in America, making it difficult for Mike Tyson to find any sparring partners to help prepare for his turbulent advancement through the pro ranks. I've had guys walk right out. I had one guy walk right out. That was it, boom, boom, he didn't even work to get paid. Some of them say, well, this ain't for me, and they go, or they don't come back, you know? They say, I'll call you, and they never call. We call them, and they got to work, they got a job, they got this, or they got that. However, some were brave enough to help this young lion with his progression. James Broad, Mike Jameson, Ken Lacusta, and Anthony Davis were a few documented fighters that, thanks to the Catskill Gym Register, we now know were durable enough to withstand daily sparring sessions with Kid Dynamite. You don't get anything without working for it, and sweating for it, and sometimes bleeding for it. And bleed for it they did, particularly with the head guards off, as Mike Tyson's eighth professional opponent, Michael Jack Johnson, found out not long after the bell sounded during their 1985 clash in Atlantic City. Johnson, coming off back-to-back -back knockout defeats, looked unlikely to stop the current streak of Mike Tyson, who is trying to improve to 8-0 with eight KOs. Jack Johnson, yeah. round number one, scheduled six, but hold on to your hats, nobody thinks it's gonna go that far. Oh, oh, there he goes, he's just gonna pull his way in, those rights to the body, left jab, right to the heart. Quickly want to point out, first fight for Michael Jack Johnson in two years. I'm glad you pointed it out because down he goes, the left hook just buried him, dug him in the ribs. I think it was a and Michael left and Jack a right. Johnson went Goodbye. A perfect weaving technique straight from the gym aided Tyson in scoring the first knockdown of the fight with a left hook to the body. To Johnson's credit, he made it back to his feet, but his inability to defend himself was always going to spell disaster. That left hook just caught him and sent him right to the hand. 23-pound weight oh, advantage, and he put it all right, there. The right to the head, and it's all over. Goodbye. The lowered guard of Johnson allowed Tyson to connect with a brutal, wide-open overhand right, fracturing Johnson's jaw and knocking out his two front teeth. He's still hurting. That jaw might be broken. That jaw may very well be broken. Tyson, thrilled with his night's work, sent a chilling message to potential heavyweight opponents in his post-fight interview. The right hand after that, you didn't wait for an invitation, went right at him. Not at all. It it's my style. You, you make your own opening. You, have, you time things. Everything was set up. When, I, when he went down the first time, I knew what was going to hit him, and that's how he planned. To be a pro fighter, I'm the master of the pinpoint. My, my shots are so accurate and so precise, not to be egotistic, but when they land, they're so precise. I, you can't, I just can't help it who you are. You have to go down because there's a law when Mike Tyson hits you. Any heavyweight was going to go down from that right hand the way you hit him. I believe so also. 23-pound weight oh, advantage. Oh, my and he put it Is he going to knock out everybody? Yeah. Well, we have a marvelous problem, Steve, as I told you uh, before the fight. The marvelous problem is that it's very difficult uh, with a kid who throws hydrogen bombs mm -hmm. to get him experience. Wait I... for an invitation. Here it comes. Whoa. Uh, you saw the, the type of punches that he throws, and it's a question of who can survive that type of punching. I don't know of any heavyweight who can take those kind of punches. 